CMA Week rolling on. Chris Stapleton is up next. How you, how you doing today, Chris? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, you came up to Buffalo to visit some of our fans, and I missed that. But uh, so my first opportunity to get a chance to sit down and talk to you. Well, good to, good to see you. Uh, I just found out today you're going to be performing on the Country Music Awards. True. What do you got going on with that? What's going to happen? Uh, I'm going to uh, perform a song that I wrote uh, that's going to be Luke Bryan's next single with Luke Bryan. So. It's yeah. called Drink, Drink a, a Beer. It is called Drink a Beer. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Sounds like a great, uh, a great uh, upbeat kind of song. Well, it's really not. No, no kidding. No, it's actually uh, it's kind of a ballad. Yeah. Excellent. With... Uh, it's a very serious ballad. The, the, the title is Deceiving. Yeah, I, I, yeah. unfortunately I haven't had a chance to hear yeah. that. But before yeah. tomorrow night, got to get a chance to get uh, the record and check that out. So tell me a little bit about your background for uh, fans that may just be meeting Chris Stapleton for the first time. Uh, well, I'm, I'm originally from East Kentucky. Uh, I moved to Nashville in 2001. And I've been writing songs for a lot of the country acts and, uh, and other acts that you may have known. I've had over 170 cuts. I've been nominated for three Grammys. So, uh Done, done a few things here and there. Used to be in a bluegrass band called the Steel Drivers. Still playing rock, rock and roll band called the Johnson Brothers on occasion. So I, I, I play a lot of music and write a lot of songs and and have some fun. Written some number ones for some folks too. So. You ever get a chance uh, when you're here in Nashville to get out and see some of the talent that's playing on Lower Broadway or in some of the clubs around? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, you know, I'll, I'll shoot out. I like to go down to Roberts on occasion if I have free time. I haven't had much lately, but. Uh, uh, or I go over to the station inn and check out some bluegrass, some acoustic music, or you know, there's all kinds of good places. You can always find something going on in Nashville. So yeah, Roberts, we were there yesterday. Yeah. What a cool place. Yeah, man. There's, you know, they've always got some kind of cool, you know, honky tonk band in there. You know, yeah. and, and usually really technically proficient and super players. You know. Yeah, there was a guy there yesterday, uh, just one man performing by himself, and he played a lot of like Hank Cochran, Hank Snow. Uh, yeah, th that kind of music still fits in this world, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely, and and it still holds up, and and that's the real test of music. You know, who knows if what we're doing today is going to hold up over time? But uh, you know, stuff like that, you can hear it forty years later, and it's still good. You know, and it's so, still a hit. And so that's that's when you really have had a hit. I think is when when you have something that holds up over time. You know, when when people call the radio station and they say, "Oh, I, I love hearing these older songs," and it's like, "Yeah, they might have been recorded years ago, but the feeling, the emotion, the storyline still fits." Right. Yeah, that's, that's the great thing about songs, man. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate your time, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to see you more often up through Western New York. Absolutely. Love to be there. Very cool. Chris Stapleton, CMA Week, rolling on.